Microsoft Azure provides its users with the most global regions than any cloud provider. This gives organizations the flexibility to bring their workloads to their users no matter where they are. So to start, we need to understand first what is a data center. A data center by definition is a centralized physical building that houses hundreds of computer systems, networking devices, and storage appliances. Meanwhile, availability zones are unique physical locations within a region that contains multiple data centers. Each data center has independent power, networking, and cooling. You can deploy your applications in multiple availability zones so that you can achieve high availability. So that in the event of an outage in one of the availability zones, your applications will still be available since you have other servers running in another availability zone. An example of this is zone redundant storage, wherein Azure automatically copies your data synchronously across three availability zones in the primary region. An Azure region is a set of data centers deployed within a latency-defined perimeter and connected through a dedicated regional low-latency network. An Azure regions allows you to have highly available applications by leveraging multiple availability zones. Okay, so think of a scenario where you have a WordPress application that is only deployed in availability zone 2. Now, after quite some time, Availability Zone 2 experiences an outage. Now, what happens? Your WordPress application will also be unavailable. That is why it is imperative that you spread your applications in multiple availability zones to achieve high availability. Remember that Azure gives us all the tools to make our applications highly available. It is up to you to use those tools. Now, to increase the fault tolerance of your application, you can deploy your applications to two Azure regions so that in an unlikely scenario where the primary region fails, you can immediately fail over to another region. An Azure geography is an area of the world containing at least one or more regions. The purpose of a geography is to comply with data residency requirements and compliance boundaries. Geographies are also fault tolerant to withstand complete region failure by leveraging Microsoft's dedicated high-capacity networking infrastructure. A region pair contains two regions within the same geography. For example, the East Asia region is paired with the Southeast Asia region, and Japan East region is paired with Japan West region. Region pairs are usually 300 miles from each other. Now, what are region pairs for? The first is platform updates. When Azure conducts planned maintenance in a regional pair, it will only update one region in each pair at a time. There are some Azure services, such as geo-redundant storage, that automatically replicates your data to a secondary region, which in this case is your paired region. For example, if you enable geo-redundant storage replication in your storage account in the Southeast Asia region, Azure will send the replicated data to East Asia as it is the region pair of the Southeast Asia region. Take note that you cannot create your own region pair and not all services uses a region pair, but you can create your own disaster recovery plan by leveraging Azure services such as Azure Site Recovery. And if multiple regions experiences outages, Microsoft will prioritize the recovery of one region in every region pair as quickly as possible. There are multiple factors that must be considered when choosing a region to deploy your applications into. First is latency. Typically, you need to choose a region where majority of your users will be at so that latency will not be an issue. Remember that latency is the amount of time that an application must wait for a request to complete and latency can directly affect an application's performance. Second, service availability. Newer regions tend to support fewer services than older regions. You should check first if the services that you need are supported in your preferred region. Last, but I think the most important, is cost. The cost of Azure services varies depending on the region. Let's say you don't have any latency or compliance requirements. It is best to deploy 
on an Azure region that will be economically efficient for your organization. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you'll get notified whenever we release new YouTube videos. See ya!